Hello, YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? We've been really busy here. As you know, we've got our greenhouse up. We're building the second one. The chicken coop is almost finished. The garden plot is in. We're doing the back to Eden gardening. And planting flowers and just having a good time. We really are. Very exciting, making all these changes and watching everything come to fruition. You know, you hold it in your head and you plan it and you draw and you write and list everything. And then finally you jump in and start making the script on paper become a reality in life. It's awesome. But you know, I wanted to get on here today. And I need somebody to make some sense for me. Yeah, I've never claimed to be the brightest light bulb in the room. Wouldn't do that. But I have claimed to be a person that was capable of using logic. And sometimes in today's now, in our life, I can't find the logic, guys. For instance, chemtrails. And for those that don't believe in chemtrails, we'll call them really big, expanding, covering the sky, blocking out the sun contrails. Okay? We'll go with that. Now, supposedly, one story of several stories is that the military is using the chemtrail, contrail expanded, covering the sky, blocking the sun, contrail technology to control or modify the weather. To control or modify the weather. You know how they used to seed clouds? Of course, this is very different than seeding clouds. And for people that think that it's just seeding clouds, go look it up. Read about it. Not at all the same. But the problem I have with it is if the military is using this technology to control the weather, why then would there be droughts, especially where we have food and agriculture in production? And why would there be major snowstorms that strike the plains and upper Midwest? You know, where the, the corn is grown and, and wheat and you know, why on the 1st of May would we have some parts of Colorado already under 18 inches of snow if these guys are controlling the weather? I mean, the snow is sticking to the grass and flowers, according to the article. By Thursday, the storm could potentially dump heavy wet snow from eastern Nebraska to northwestern Wisconsin and the upper peninsula of Michigan. I'm not understanding how this works. We know that they were spreading the contrails that expand block out our sky, take away all the blue, block the sun, contrails, you know, guys. Uh, Chemtrails. They were spreading those all last year, heavy, and yet we had so many droughts. Between droughts and flooding and extreme snowstorms, the 1st of May, I don't really think these guys know what they're doing. Do they? I mean, 
Is this what you would do at the beginning of growing season? And you know that the entire country banks on the foods that come from these areas. Would you create snowstorms? Hmm. So perhaps they don't know what they're doing. And on the dark side, what if they do? What if these droughts and these snowstorms and these terrible, terrible, uh, inadequate results from their technology are actually going just the way they want it? I don't know. I don't know. It just seems kind of crazy. I mean, Denver just had weekends in the 70s. A weekend that temperatures hit the 70s. And now they got a snowstorm. You know, 20 inches in the, the Colorado mountains. I mean, it's going to be a boost to the snowpack that provides a state water supply. But can we live on water alone? What about the crops? What about the fruit trees, the blossoms, the uh, flowers? I don't know, guys. Someone make sense of this? I can't. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is, you know, we talk about GMO in our foods. And... Uh, we all know that that's bad. We are all concerned about that. We're being poisoned by this stuff. They've proven it creates tumors in mice. And they use mice because evidently that's the closest t thing to the human uh, system. GMOs in our food, you know, Franken foods, terrible stuff. Why? Why? But I got one on uh, one upper. Why in the world would they use a gene from a jellyfish, allowing them to produce a green fluorescent protein to create genetically modified glow in the dark sheep? It's in the news. It's in the news. He's kind of cute. He really is. He's. He glows yellow and uh, from the picture. He, and he's just looking like, what have they freaking done to me? He's got this look on his face. I'll put the link down below. I can't look at his face and feel good about what they've done to him. But he is cute. Genetically modified glow-in-the-dark sheep. Isn't this genetic modification going a bit far seriously uh, but more importantly why why are they doing it I don't get it guys I don't get it I don't see the logic in this stuff I really don't you know Boston uh, police now have taken three more suspects into custody for the marathon bombings. Yeah. I guess they're accomplished. You know, they were helping the brothers uh, after the bombs. And have you seen those videos where the brothers are hollering, we give up, we give up, we didn't do it, we give up, they're surrendering. And the police just keep hammering them with bullets. That was pretty interesting. Hair raising. So guys, I just wanted to get on here today and see if you could give me a heads up on how this stuff makes sense. Weather modification that's working against us, not for us, not helping the earth. Droughts don't help. Oh, yeah, that's right. The snow is for water. Yeah. And uh, glow-in-the-dark sheep. 
I guess that's so shepherds don't lose their way. Get it? I love you all. Great big hugs. And uh, comment down below. Thumbs up if you agree. None of this makes sense. But if you think you got it all figured out and I'm just off the beaten path, let me know. Very odd times we live in, guys. Very odd indeed. Something stinks.